Today's morning devotional. Be strong in his grace. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verses 1 and 2. The lessons contained in the words of Paul to Timothy are of the greatest importance to us today. He charges him to be strong in his own wisdom? No, but, in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. He who would be a follower of Christ is not to rely upon his own capabilities, or to feel confident in himself. Neither is to be dwarfed in his religious efforts, to shun responsibilities, and remain inefficient in the cause of God. He is to draw strength from a sure and safe source, that never fails those who would have divine power. The exhortation to us is, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. If the Christian feels his weakness, his inability, by putting his trust in God, he will find the grace of Christ sufficient for every emergency. The soldier of Christ must meet many forms of temptation, and resist and overcome them. The fiercer the conflict, the greater the supply of grace to meet the need of the soul, and the very nature of the grace received will enlarge the capacity of the servant of Christ to know God, and Jesus Christ whom he hath sent. The soul of the believer will go out in intense longing to know and understand more of the truth and righteousness of Christ. All who advance in the divine life will have increased ability to search for truth as for hid treasure, and will appropriate the truth to their own souls. The true Christian will understand what it means to pass through severe conflicts and trying experiences, but he will steadily increase in the grace of Christ to meet successfully the enemy of his soul, who works through human agency to cause the ruin of the servants of Christ. By passing through severe ordeals of trial, the follower of Christ will better understand the ways of God and the plan of redemption, and will not be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. The darkness will press upon his soul at times, but the true light will shine, the bright beams of the sun of righteousness will dispel the gloom, and although Satan seeks in every way to discourage him by presenting obstacles before him, through the grace of Christ he will be enabled to be a faithful witness of the things which he has heard from the inspired messenger of God. He does not despise or neglect the message received, but commits his knowledge to faithful men, who in their turn are to be able to teach others also. In communicating the light to others, the Christian proves the truth of the word that, the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18.